Okay, let's say you're being tested and or you have to draw up your insulins in the same syringe in the hospital. So you're gonna see the regular and you're gonna see the MPH. The way I remember it is you always do air first and then you're drawing up the medication. I remember it either a Nancy Reagan RN or Nicole Richie RN, that's the order of the draw. So the MPH is always air first and then the regular insulin. Now, because MPH is cloudy and the regular is clear, our order of draw will always be the regular first and then the NPH because we do not want to mix any of this NPH cloudy into this bottle and contaminate this bottle with any cloudy medication. So a few key points you have to know on this. After you clean the top with your alcohol, I've already cleaned the top with the alcohol, I am going to inject the air first. When you inject the air, you put the amount of air for the medications you're gonna be using. So let's say NPH, you wanted 30 units of NPH and you wanted five units of regular. So you would do 30 units, Right, here's my 30 on this side and I've got to clean the top so I'm going to go in I'm going to inject the air first I'm not going to get any medication because the medication is down here um, I'm not even getting any on my syringe so and then I'm going to inject five units of air in my regular now here's the key thing to remember as you inject five units of air into your regular you're already in this in this bottle do not remove the syringe. You're already here. That's the order of draw. That's how I remember it. I'm going to put the air in and then I'm going to invert it. And then I am going to pull out my five units. Now here is the other key piece you need to know. See how I'm going in. I've got a little air bubble. Then I'm pushing back up and five units. Okay, that's great. I cannot do that when I am mixing my NPH. I have got to get 30 units into this syringe without pulling any air in. So if I do pull air in and then I try to push out, I'm going to probably um, push out some of my regular insulin and I'm not gonna get the full dose. So I've gotta be very careful now as I inject this syringe, invert it, and I have to be very careful. So I needed 30 units, so I have to be at 35 and I have gotta make sure that I do not draw any air and I have to be at 35 now so I've got to be very slow and methodical when I draw this and I'm right at 35 I can't push back up and then I'm gonna do the scoop method and then I'm gonna go in the patient's room. So now I have 35 units. So that's how I mixed NPH 30 with five regular. Um, those are my tricks. I hope that made sense. Of course, mixing these two, um, you will only have to inject them with one syringe. You can watch my other video of why, and this is how I remember it. So I hope that makes sense and follow me for more nursing tips.